Hello and welcome to building a software as a service application with Rails. Um, this is episode number six and today we're going to focus on user sign-in. We're going to write some specs. We are going to go ahead and implement it with Devise and then we are going to clean up the styling. Now before we start, um, I want to correct a few bugs that I noticed after filming the previous episodes. Um, the first one has to do with the styling of the flash messages. Um, I inadvertently used um, hyphens instead of underscores in the layout CSS SCSS file, so we'll go ahead and correct that. And additionally, in the new account um, view, I had specified text fields instead of password fields for the passwords so we'll go ahead and correct that now as well. Since we are going to be focusing on user authentication uh, in this screencast, I'll start by writing a spec. Um, I'm going to create a new feature spec and I'm going to call the new spec user authentication feature spec or maybe just authentication feature spec. In here I'm going to start by um, describing a uh, integration spec where the user signs in successfully. In this basic spec um, we're just going to visit the new user session, session path, um, fill in the email and password and sign in and we expect to see the message signed in successfully. Now we'll do um, the opposite of this and we'll um, write the spec for when the user fails to provide um, the proper credentials. Next up I'm going to write out the spec for when the user signs out. Uh, we'll just have the user sign in and then visit the um, root path and click sign out. Now hopefully you've noticed uh, we have some duplication here. So I'm going to go ahead and refactor this by creating a sign user in method. Now this works in the um, valid credentials and sign out user um, examples but we'll have to um, allow an options where we can provide uh, the incorrect password for the case with the invalid credentials. And finally I'm just going to move the user creation in line. Now interestingly enough um, because of the magic of device um, two of our three specs are already passing. Now you should try and intentionally break the two specs that we um, just wrote by maybe removing the routes or something like that just to make sure they are actually testing something but um, I, I've checked that and they are working properly so um, now let's go ahead and see if we can get this third spec to pass. Inside of our application layout file I'm just going to add a sign out button to the header Okay, so back um, it, at our console, all of our specs are now passing. So now let's uh, take a look at this in the browser and see what we can do style-wise. We'll start our app and uh, head over to the browser. And I haven't added a account sign-in. I haven't added a sign-in link just because um, I want to force the users to navigate to a subdomain before signing in and we're not quite there yet. So I'm just actually going to navigate manually to the sign-in page for now. And as you can see, um, this is in major need of some styling. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. In order to alter the sign-in view, I'll have to generate the device views, and device gives you a generator for this. Reels uh, generate device views. This generates quite a few um, files and I don't need all of them right now so I'm going to delete some and if we need them later we can just copy them over or regenerate them. 
Opening up the um, new session view file, I um, am going to add some surrounding styles similar to what we did with the account signup page. I am going to restyle the inputs with um, some with our form group four method. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing with the password field. And finally, I'll go ahead and style the Remember Me checkbox. And then I'll style the button. My application CSS file, I'm going to go ahead and add a new import for my signup page. And then I'll go ahead and add a new style sheet file for the sign in. And in here, I'm just going to add a couple styles to make this look a little nicer. Okay, so looking at this in the browser again, it looks very nice. Um, I just want to now fix a couple little nitpicks that I have and that we probably don't need to display these labels here because we have the placeholder text and also I would like to have this flash message display you know in in this box to make it look a little nicer so we'll go ahead and fix that inside my um, new session view I want to be able to specify uh, a flag that says no label for a particular field should be displayed. Also what I want to do is um, be able to locate the flash messages where I want them within the page. I also want to specify that the flash for the layout should not be displayed just so we don't have a duplicate there. Okay so I'm going to tackle the form helper changes first. I'm going to add uh, an options hash as an attribute for the form group for call and I'm going to use uh, that to optionally turn off the labels. And I'm just going to specify a default value of label as being true. Up um, to get the, to fix up the flash messages, I'm going to create a new helper called layout helper. And I'm just going to paste some code in here. Um, basically what this is going to do is give me a method that will print out our flash messages. Um, so we don't duplicate that code if we want to print them in different places. Um, the flash messages call is just going to option. It's going to accept a um, parameter called layout flash. And that will allow you to turn off the flash message in other parts of the layout. It's then going to use a capture block and whatever's in the capture block will be output to, uh, you know, after the method call. Um, and we'll, we'll loop through our flash messages as we did before and um, concatenate them on and that'll print them out uh, after that loop. Um, and then we'll also have a a boolean uh, method that will let us know if we should show our layout flash messages or not. Inside the application layout I'm going to remove the, the flash message printing that we were doing before and add a call to our new flash messages method. Taking a look at this again in the browser um, it looks like Everything we wanted to do uh, is working nicely now. We're displaying the flash messages inside the sign-in box and our labels are no longer there. So let's go ahead and sign in and see if that works in the browser here. And there we go. We're signed in successfully. But uh, the only problem is our sign out button isn't displaying very well. So let's fix that. 
Okay, so it looks like the first problem is I added the buttons div outside of the navigation. So let's move that up inside there. And um, to move it away from the right a little bit, I'll just add some CSS to the layout CSS file. So back in the browser, uh, it finally looks like everything is displaying correctly. Uh, we have the sign out button here and um, signing out works and I think that's about it for this episode.